All right, what's going on guys? My name's Chopper. Now, I think that's really important that we talk about the biggest problem with Call of Duty right now. There's some big problems going on and we really, really need to address and this is affecting everybody. This is affecting the company. This is affecting YouTube. I think that if we don't discuss it now, then nobody's ever going to do it and it's going to be too late for us to change anything whatsoever. So pretty much across the board on YouTube, not just gaming in general, but I mean, it's mostly affecting gaming. Call of Duty has really been hit hard, but pretty much views have been down ever since the release of DLC4. As soon as that Easter egg was solved, at least for me anyway, my views just dropped off. And everybody else in the pretty much gaming community is feeling the same way. Now, this is, of course, you know, kind of attributed to the dead period that is October. There's no new really games coming out until about November, December, and that sort of stuff. Obviously, Christmas when people are off school, all that good stuff. Everybody's going back right now. So it is kind of to be accounted for by the dead period. But I think that Call of Duty is suffering a much, much worse condition and case than that. In a nutshell, the Call of Duty franchise's short term thinking has their long term effects have finally caught up with them. Now, this really started back in Ghost when the microtransactions were kind of being introduced. But this whole video is not really going to be about that. But basically, the Call of Duty franchise, their short-term thinking in order to maximize maximize profits in the short term, their long-term effects are actually catching up with them now, and we are seeing the effects of it right here. I said this before, and I'll say it again. Thinking short-term in order to maximize profits at the beginning is definitely not a way to run a game or a business. This might, you know, kind of get you a little bit of extra cash in your pocket at first, but then this is going to be bad for the overall quality of the game and the longevity thereof. And you guys pretty much know how the rest of the story goes. Call of Duty has really kind of failed to take into account these actions that they're doing and then the effects of it and the overall quality of the game has definitely definitely been degraded and you guys can tell that from these last couple games there just seems to be this huge disconnect between both the developers and the community and when we say something that we want we think that Activision is listening and we think that we that they hear us and we think that you know we're gonna get a change in the next game whatever and that never happens and I think that after repeated years of that kind of behavior that definitely takes a significant toll on the game and because of the disconnect and because of this like you know miscommunication that we have with the developers this has led to the last couple of Call of Duty titles not being up to par or to what even what we want at all. You know, Infinite Warfare just dropped, and as soon as the trailer dropped, you guys already know about the huge dislike bomb on that. And then obviously when the beta didn't really go too well either, like we couldn't get up for a couple hours, and really I don't think people enjoyed it as much as they did enjoy the Black Ops 3 beta. I played the Black Ops 3 beta, I got to the max level, and I had an absolute blast on it. However, I only got to like level 10 in the Infinite Warfare beta, didn't really care to play it too much. I think that's pretty much how everybody else felt as well. But the release of the full game coming very, very shortly, I don't think that anything else is really going to change and the community's opinions is not going to you know kind of just kind of turn around overnight and people are going to accept this game for what it is and last time I checked the numbers I believe that Infinite Warfare sales are about a third of what Black Ops 3 were about this time of the year so that is not a good sign for both the developers for the community and pretty much for anybody who is into Call of Duty and interested in its well-being this is kind of a uh, this is a scary time for Call of Duty YouTubers it doesn't matter if they're multiplayer or zombies you know exclusively this is a scary time right now for everybody now really just for multiplayer the community's problem is that the multiplayer community and the game itself is not really what it used to be. I'm not really too into the multiplayer community, but I know that with the whole thing with supply drops being added and just the amount of clickbait that goes around, like people get really turned off that kind of stuff. And it's just not the same kind of content that was like being put out, say, 2009. And uh, it just, it was really kind of changed the whole perspective of Call of Duty YouTubers and that's definitely an MP's problem. Now zombies however is a little bit of a different case. I feel like the zombies community is still alive and well. Now people would you know kind of disagree with that. They said the zombies community has been dead since Black Ops 3 but literally views have went through the roof with revelations and we've kind of never seen them go that high before. So the zombie community isn't dead it's just it gets bored because it didn't doesn't give as much love as it should being attached to Call of Duty. Now when I, when I say Call of Duty here, I'm really talking about MP, and then when I say zombies, I feel like zombies could be a separate thing. We're going to talk about that in a second. But when I say COD, I'm really talking about multiplayer here. Now, a lot of people have been saying that zombies is the only thing keeping Call of Duty alive, and I actually kind of agree with that to some extent. I feel like Call of Duty is a sinking ship at this point. I didn't really, really have to say that, but Call of Duty really is. It is a sinking ship at this point, and zombies is the life rafts on the side that is temporarily, you know, kind of helping it stay afloat. Problem is that these life rafts can only do so much before the actually main ship itself sinks and brings that along with it. Now what zombies need to do is to detach itself from that main ship, right? It needs to become its own life raft that the zombies community, which is small but passionate, can fit on the entire thing. I honestly feel like zombies was the true selling point for Call of Duty DLC this year. When a DLC pack comes out, people are really most interested in the zombies map. Even if you're an MP guy, the first thing you look for is what kind of zombies map. You're going to look over it once, you're going to see what that is first, and then you're going to look at the MP maps, at least in my experience anyway. And it's basically like zombies was 
happens, the it's kind of like a band-aid to a gunshot wound, right? Like Call of Duty is sinking, but you know, Zombies was kind of there to help out just a little bit, just a little bit to give it enough of a longevity for people to play the entire year. And thankfully, most of the DLC was pretty good. I think the Zombies community, while there was some things we didn't like, especially like Zetsubo, I think we can pretty much agree that the DLC offering was pretty solid this year, right? We had some pretty good maps and some pretty fun times on it, and this really just goes to show that the Zombies community is one like no other. And I truly believe that. I really feel like the Zombies community is special as compared to other, you know, gaming communities because of how passionate we are about what we do. Now, it's, it's a funny thing. I was actually talking to Kevin Sherwood at Cod XP. Kevin Sherwood wrote a bunch of the music for Zombies. Like, you know, pretty much all the Easter egg songs in World of War, Black Ops 2, all that sort of stuff. He did some work in Black Ops 3 as well. He wrote a ton of songs, so he knows his Zombies. But I was talking to Kevin, and this was the first time that I had met him in person. But when he greeted me, he acted like he knew me forever. And it was so cool because it acted like, it acted like since we just met, but we were still so close, and it was awesome. And this is pretty much how like everybody else is in the zombies community as well. Everybody shares and pretty much everybody helps each other out. I think because of those facts is why the zombies community is so different from other gaming communities and also why, speaking of separations, that Call of Duty should separate from the Call of Duty title. Zombies should become its own thing and this is what I'm going to you know, kind of touch on a little bit later. But it's really not that hard to see that Call of Duty itself is kind of, you know, it is sinking. It is definitely a sinking ship, and there really isn't much we can do about it at this point besides zombies, right? Zombies is the last factor that is keeping Call of Duty alive, but like I said, if we don't act soon, this is going to sink with the rest of the ship, and we're no longer going to have this community and this passion in this game that we love so much. So what I recommend we need to do is detach from the Call of Duty franchise. Imagine having a Call of Duty Zombies game where it had all the previous Zombies maps in it, along with a bunch of whole new ones, and for every DLC pack, we get three new zombies maps instead of one the, and it's detached from everything you know that Call of Duty would do like put RNG into it gobble gums you don't have to spend gobble gums you can get for free maybe or there's just no sort of RNG system that's you know kind of plagued by Activision what if there was a pure zombies game like that I think that is definitely a possibility but it first has to detach itself for, under the reins of you know the corporate Activision just think about it a second all in possibilities aside let's just say we had a Call of Duty zombies game that was not Call of Duty it was not under that title and this would you know kind of prevent it from being stigmatized from, you know, you know how COD players are like weak gamers, basically, is what the stereotype is. What if, you know, Call of Duty Zombies was away from that? Because uh, Zombies players don't like being kind of associated with that with like the weak game play style, you know what I'm saying? What if this was a separated game, was not under the Call of Duty title, and people actually respected Zombies as they should? What if Zombies get to keep its same gameplay roots, just like what you're seeing right now? This is actually some Overwatch gameplay. You might be a little bit confused what this is. My boy Lex got me absolutely hooked to this, dude. This is too fun. This is just like how, you know, Core Zombies is. You have a team of four, and you all communicate kind of strategizing to fend off these endless waves of hordes actually not really endless there is an end game to it but it's just like it, it's just so primal zombies man and this reminds me of so much back in the day of nocturne toten you know strategizing with your teammates who's gonna run what who's gonna sit where and this is really where the heart of zombies started i would really hate to see that heart and that passion go down with the sinking ship that is the call of duty franchise we really need to make sure that that does not happen and unfortunately this year, Infinite Warfare Zombies doesn't look too stunning. While it doesn't look horrible, it looks pretty much comparable just to Exo Zombies. Exo Zombies was not entirely trash. I did have some fun times in it, but definitely was not Treyarch. And unfortunately, I don't think that Call of Duty is going to make it to the next Treyarch gang if something doesn't, you know, change and happen soon. We know that Sledgehammer is going to try to make a World War II game. At least that's what's speculated. And that could be, you know, interesting to see what their uh, Zombies time period and how that's actually going to play out. But then again, we don't know. We still have to get through this entire year of Infinite Warfare Zombies. I am going to be it a little bit you know I will definitely try it out but I, I can't guarantee you that I'm gonna play it or enjoy it or be into it as much as I am with Treyarch Zombies. But unfortunately, it seems like our fate is already set in stone. If we don't act soon, Zombies is going to die along with the rest of the Call of Duty franchise. I hate to say it's going to die. It's not going to like actually be going to be a completely unplayed game, but it's definitely not what it used to be, and it's going to continue to make this downward trend for you know an indefinite amount of years, maybe until the next Treyarch game Zombies comes out. And you know who who knows if we'll even make it that far. But what can we do about this? I'm sitting here complaining, but we need an actual solution for what we're going to do about this and take action. Now, what we can do is definitely make a noise. You know, the Zombies community needs to get together and actually kind of talk to developers as much as we can and let them know what we want and while this may be a long shot it's worth a try i would hate to see like i said this kind of this thing that we have here go down with the sinking ship that is cod that would just really absolutely break my heart like i said earlier while the call of duty zombies community is rather small we are definitely passionate and they can hear us we can definitely get to developers using all everybody who we have you know all these other big zombies youtubers i'm not saying myself is one but i'm saying everybody else in the community if we all make a noise and everybody gets together we can definitely get a hold of the developers try the best we can to make sure that either COD doesn't die out or that we have zombies in some other form. 
This is truly our time. The zombies community needs to stand up right now. We all need to get together. Every single community member needs to help out in order to get a hold of developers, and we need to get something going so we, you know, don't see this game that we love so much die out. Everybody's got to help. Everybody's got to participate. The game of zombies is not dead, my friends, and if we take action now, this is definitely not going to sink down with the rest of the ship that is COD, and we're going to have a game that's going to flourish, and this could, you know, kind of grow on indefinitely, but the problem is, is that if we don't act now, unfortunately, it could be too late, and this could go down with the rest of COD. Another thing you can definitely do is support these other zombies YouTubers through what we're going through right now, because we're not really sure, and like I said, this is a very confusing time of what people are going to do, but just support them the best you can. In fact, what I want you to do is copy the link of this video, and go to your favorite zombies YouTubers Twitter, and tag them in it, and let them know that you're supporting them, you know, let them know that you're still here, and that you'll follow them for whatever they do, and you're still here to watch zombies. And I'm sure that they will really appreciate getting messages of support from you guys. I really think that's going to happen. So what I want you guys to do right now is also let me know what your favorite Call of Duty title is for zombies. Let me know if it's World of War, Black Ops 1, 2, or 3, and also let me know why. Tell me your favorite memory of that game, and let me know why it was so special to you. Call of Duty Zombies is not dead, guys, and I'd really hate to see it die out. So, if you guys did enjoy this, don't forget to leave a like, guys, on this video. I really would appreciate it. I'm trying to get this video out there, and it would really help out a ton. But thank you, everybody, so much for watching again. And let's really hope that this, you know, something can come out of this. Thank you all for watching once again, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.